my dreams coming when true. Went and stayed down till I came up with my niggas. Right or wrong, fair or right, you know what's up with me, nigga. Never change on my gang, yeah, I'm stuck with my niggas. When I'm touchable, come run the money up with me, nigga. Went and stayed down till I came up with my niggas. Right Yo, what's poppin' to me, Kenny? And it's your boy. So, Frank and Kenny, man, we back in the cut with some more videos. Now, off rip. Drop a like on this video, bro. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes on because we live as niggas doing this. All my videos live, entertaining, authentic. I bring that lit live out of YouTube. Ain't nobody else doing on here doing it like me. Now, look, bro. I've ripped. I, first of all, I ain't no news channel. You get what I'm saying? I've, I've done updates and stuff like that in the past. That's why I've always put on my videos update. You feel me? Full update and stuff like that because this is what y'all want to see. Y'all want me to go dig into it. Let y'all know what's going on. Only about situations we care about. You don't see me reporting about every every goddamn topic that go on. You know what I'm saying? That's for DJ Academics. I bring what y'all boys want me to see. So basically, I was on the gram, right? And y'all niggas, you know, my fan base is really based around Louisiana and Baton Rouge. A lot of y'all niggas care about that, that type of music. So that's really what we bring, which means when something go on, y'all automatically going to think of, oh, what's the name I got to know about this? You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, TBG, NBA, they getting it, they doing what they do on the ground. You know what I'm saying? They going back and forth or whatever they doing with their little posts. No serious threats, no none of that. Just a little competition. Me ain't going to be men. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all niggas tagged me a hundred times. It was like, bro, update us about this. Update us about this. Off rip, what I'm thinking is I'm not going to step into this business and, and come on here and speak about this because I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know the details behind it. I don't know. You feel me? What they all we seeing is what niggas is putting on the gram and what they talking about. They know what's going on behind the scenes. We don't. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm not finna just come on here and make up this whole Bible about what I just seen on the gram. You get what I'm saying? So I'm only speak on what I think I know. You feel me? And I'ma let y'all know. So basically, I was on um Fredo Bang Instagram, right? And he posted what y'all tagged me, he posted a, a a little statement, right? You feel me? Basically, somebody was stating what they seen and saying they saw this and the shooter and this and this happened. So basically, I'm going to just go off what I read on the paper. So they was at a party, right? It was for somebody's birthday party. And Fredo Bang was there, I'm guessing. You get what I'm saying? And it just so happened, uh, something went down. I guess a shooting came out of altercation. Some people got into it. And then some shots was lit out, right? Some people, I guess they shot at Fredo Bang or something like that. Or somebody that was, you feel me, affiliated with Fredo Bang, right? And... Uh, later on, you know what I'm saying, Fredo Bang, from what the paper said, start, you feel me, conversating with a girl on the gram or somebody, you feel me, on Instagram in the DMs. He's saying he don't know who it was and stuff like that, but shorty hit him up like, hey, I know who this, I think I know who this was and blah, 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 woo, woo, you know what I'm saying? So Fredo automatically, he like, all right, bro, hit me on my number, this and this and that, you feel me? So he texting him, well, she texting him and I guess they trying to, you feel me, figure out and lace him up on who just really just shot at him, you know what I'm saying? And... They seen what bro was wearing, and I guess Fredo got pulled in. The police got involved and stuff like that. They asked him, Fred, my, my nigga, you going to get questioned regardless to what happened, my nigga. If I go in the store and steal a candy bar, and I'm with 15 other dudes, they finna sit us down and ask us, so who drove you here? Who wanted, who eat chocolate? You get what I'm saying? Like, it, that's just how we go. You get what I'm saying? So Fredo got caught up in the situation. I guess they pulled him in, and um, he got questioned about, you feel me? about the shooting basically i'm trying to watch what i say he got questioned about the shooting right and fredo say he seen the jacket he was wearing he seen i get he identified his outfit basically you feel me he identified his hat his jacket and stuff like that and then they was asking did you see his face fredo say i couldn't see the shooter face you feel me so basically i seen his outfit obviously you're gonna see what the nigga wearing you gonna say but he say he couldn't identify his face which means he ain't know he don't know who the who don't know who the nigga is you get what i'm saying but he probably did see the nigga face you get what i'm saying he probably just not gonna stay talk about it because he's trying to leave it in the street you get what i'm saying if i tell you who it is nine times out of ten he finna go to jail and i can't even get at him no more you get what i'm saying i'm trying to put dude on i'm trying to you get what i'm saying i'm trying to get my revenge and this nigga finna be in jail you get what i'm saying so and sometimes y'all probably like you can get it done in jail. Sometimes it's deeper than niggas than that. Sometimes they want to do what they sell. You feel me? So basically he's saying he didn't see his face. He just seen his outfit, right? And that was on paper. Somebody got the screenshots of the papers or something like that, right? And NBA them, they took it and uh they posted on their ground. You feel me? So being 10 them post and they like um 
somebody snitching, blah, blah, blah. You feel me? What's her name? Marat. And then he's snitching saying that, look, he right now statement saying he shot at him and who shot at who. You get what I'm saying? And Fredo and them like, nigga, a rat is the definite, the definition of a rat. It's somebody who identify a shooter. You get what I'm saying? Not identify what he was wearing, basically. You get what I'm saying? He's saying, I saw what he was rocking, but I don't know who that nigga is. You get what I'm saying? NBA and them saying, nigga, the fact you even said, you know what he rocking or you, you seen this, you snitching. You get what I'm saying? They basically saying, you supposed to just say, I ain't see nothing. I ain't see what was going on. I don't know what happened. I wasn't even... They, oh, uh, you seen this shirt? I don't know what. I didn't know he's wearing a shirt. You know what I'm saying? They basically saying that's what you're supposed to say. Fredo Bang saying, nigga, the definition of a snitch is me saying, okay, what's the name? Did it? Jamal Jenkins did it. What's the name? Shot the gun. Jamal uh, ran across to Tom, and Tom came out with the. You feel me? So they basically, that's what happened. So they was going back and forth on the ground, but they not beefing for real. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's no big serious situation where. Niggas is trying to beef with other niggas and guns gonna get involved. Of course, they got some type of tension about you feel me? They got tension with each other because of the NBA Young Boy and G Money situation. You get what I'm saying? When G Money and Young Boy was throwing they little slick shots at each other on their song. You get what I'm saying? So of course, when somebody passed away and he had beef with somebody, this is the same with my homeboy. When my homeboy passed away and he had beef with a dude, the nigga that fought him, you automatically got beef with me, bro. You get know what I'm saying? Because my homeboy was beefing with you. Now, he ain't here to beef with you no more, so I got to take his spot, and I got to beef with you now, my nigga. You get know what I'm saying? So, basically, they going to have some type of tension with each other. You get know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't, they ain't cool, you feel me? But I don't think it's, you feel me, ain't nothing that y'all niggas got to run with. You get know what I'm saying? Because when niggas do the internet stuff, you feel me, that's what's going to get officials involved and stuff like that. And to the people that's going to come on here like, bro, you snitch. Nigga, I am not snitching about shit. I don't know what the fuck happened. I'm going off what these niggas put on Instagram they sell. So, if you think I'm snitching, these niggas snitching on they sell before I even got on here to talk about this shit. How do I know what I'm talking about? They posted for, for me to see it, my nigga. So, don't come in the comments put my, oh, bro, you snitching and shit. Fuck, I'm snitching and I'm reading what these niggas posted. Nigga, ain't these niggas snitching for giving me the goddamn shit to read? You get what I'm saying? So, basically, I'm just letting the goofies know what's going on. You get what I'm saying? But to my supporters... <clears throat> I don't think it's nothing, ain't nothing too serious to get deep into, you know what I'm saying? Just a confrontation. Men gonna be men, bro. You feel me? We just gonna leave it at that. They out of BR. You feel me? A lot of cities, my nigga, when rappers coming up, they don't really rock with each other. I'm in Houston, my nigga. When I'm blowing up and dude blowing up, we ain't finna work together. You know what I'm saying? And we can say all day, I rock with him. He cool. You don't rock with dude. If you rock with him, you would've made a song with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, really, that's just how it be. Niggas be standing in their own lane. And BR got it bad. Houston, Texas got it bad too. Niggas don't want to work with each other at all. You get what I'm saying? So basically what I'm saying is just stay out the mix, bro. Ain't nothing big. You feel me? Ain't nothing to blow out of proportion, my niggas. Niggas had their words, went about their way. Ain't nobody beefing. Ain't nobody doing none of that. You get what I'm saying? Everybody doing their own thing. NBA and them over here doing their shows, making their money. Fredo Bang came out doing his shows, making their money. And we just going to leave it at that. You feel me? No need to turn it into nothing that it ain't supposed to be. So drop a like on this video if you rocking with it, man. I'll put some stuff on the screen, the stuff that i seen. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I ain't finna do too much talking. Drop a like on it. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes. Hit me on my social media. I'll link in the description down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the love and support. And we finna continue to turn up. I gotta bring away some overdoses. So I I gotta stop the video. Let's get it, man. Thanks. Nick, know the 50,000 on my wrist. Every nigga with me real rich. Niggas having pressure by the bitch. I got all my cases dismissed. I don't go back and forth on the internet. Real niggas don't get into that. I'm trying to get in on my for real. I'm trying to get in on my Me and my dogs, me and my dogs. We trying to run your house. Yeah, yeah.